So let me sort of get to the meat of this, which is really talking about innovation structures, incubators and accelerators. This is what I work in. This was sort of the, the central part of my research for my book. And what distinguishes an incubator and accelerator, it's really external ideas and teams um, that you're sort of bringing into a larger organization, right? And so these are not your ideas. You're looking out to the world. You're saying, those are interesting startups. Let me support them in some kind of structure. As it says here, generally, there's some sort of exchange for that. Um, third derivative, we're a nonprofit, but we offer a optional 100K convertible note, um, which is really just helpful for them. But the incubator, just to distinguish, is sort of generally more sort of earlier stage, and you're sort of coming up with your idea, next, and that, that sort of goes on. Maybe I say that you can stay in the incubator until, until you sort of grow, die, or annoy someone enough that you sort of get kicked out. Um, and an accelerator uh, is a little bit later stage, happens generally by cohort, um, and sort of you get people sort of towards more of like a growth phase. That's one kind of sort of um, innovation sandbox structure. Another one, which I sort of mentioned earlier, is a venture studio. And so this is where you, uh, with a group of friends or within an organization, you come up with your own ideas, and then you say, okay, there's 10 ideas, let's sort of narrow it down to one, let's prototype and then grow them and support them and then spin them out. And so this is a really great structure because you end up having effectively total control over the content and to the structures that you produce um, and total ownership. Um, generally what happens with this is then you sort of spin it out and then you sort of do some equity deal. Um, but this is a Whereas incubators, and accelerators, those are other people's ideas. They come and you support them. This is your ideas, and you grow and prototype. Um, there's the famous sort of Google twenty percent time, but a lot of companies have done this, and this is a way that uh, you can just give some leash and some license to your employees to make things that really benefit the company, maybe internally, hopefully externally as well, and then you can sort of spin those out. Um, and there's, there's a lot of different ways to do this. What's nice about this is that it's sort of distributed and you can have everyone do this. There's also just a whole lot of different kind of other structures. And so just to tick through a bunch of these, mentorship and volunteering is rather self-explanatory, but you can understand that by having, by doing mentorship yourself um, or by volunteering, you're just having a bit of uh, um, sort of, tendrils out to the world. And so you can understand what's going on there and have a bit of an exchange. Um, secondment is when you take people in your organization and you just switch roles or you say, okay, you know, Sarah, for three months, you're going to work on this other team. This helps to sort of mix things up. Sorry to pick on you, Sarah. Um, masterminds are classes um, where effectively you're just saying who wants to teach something internally, externally, let's all sort of keep, have a learning and positive environment around that. Hackathons, I think everyone knows what a hackathon. Um, these can be weekends where everyone gets together and sort of pounds on something, or they can sort of be more like distributed over a long time. I've done both structures, they're fine. Um, innovation tours. So we have a lot of people that show up in Silicon Valley with their company, and they're just gonna go around and to various companies and see how are these people doing that? Maybe they're within an industry that you're working in, or maybe they're entirely different. Either way, it's a bit of, um, it, it's sort of an inspiration to see uh, sort of what's happening, keep your finger on the pulse.